Mike, obviously, you know what happened yesterday. What, what was the reason? In, uh, well, first, let me ask you, how do you feel uh, of knowing that this tragedy has happened in Buffalo? Um, well, obviously, you know, we've been here for, for some time now, since 2017. This has become home. Um, I heard the news yesterday and uh, simply shocked. Uh, still, you know, I, I, I still can't believe it. Um, but, uh, you know, when there's when there's hate in the world, um, you know, you kind of erase it with love and coming out here today and, you know, showing the community love and, and um, you know, love to the youth, love to the community, love to the foundation. Um, I guess that's the way to, to, to combat it. You know, we had a bunch of conversations yesterday um, into this morning. And, uh, you know, yesterday, I'm going to be honest, we didn't feel right even having this game. Uh, but then, you know, having conversations with, with some people, um, you know, we felt it was important to, to, you know, get the community out, put some smiles on their face, um, get the players in front of them, and we're doing it for, for good calls. Is that the reason, I mean, not the reason, excuse me, is that the conversation where you guys also have where you said, let's go ahead and donate some of the proceeds to the family? Yeah, a thousand percent, a thousand percent. You know, we're, uh, you know, obviously, Generating a lot of money uh, for for the foundation um, and for the youth in Western Western New York, and obviously when something like that happens, um, you know we just want to help. So that was that was where that decision came in. I know you said that you guys were talking for a little bit about whether you should have the game and the decisions go into that, but it also feels like now is the time that the community needs to come together. And there needs to be healing. Does this feel like the perfect setting for maybe that because you are bringing people together? Yeah, 100 percent, 100 percent. Yeah, 10,000 10, plus fans coming here today. Um, you know. The Bisons are going to do an amazing job. You know, our, our sponsors did an amazing job, you know, getting the word out there. And, you know, the players are going to do awesome coming out here and just, you know, just putting smiles on people's faces. We're going to have a good time. Um, like I said, I'm still kind of, I think everybody, everybody that, you know, was heard the news um, yesterday was just shocked and, you know, saddened. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, I just I just feel bad for the, for the families and for the community. And, you know what better way to come out here but smile on people's faces? Yeah, that's what you know. It's that kind of with that in mind, people feel so helpless. Mm -hmm. You know what these things keep exactly. happening, and what can you do? Uh, do you feel that too? Just, A thousand percent. I'm just like everybody else. Um, you know, coming here today. Uh, you know, I'm driving in with my family, and you know, fortunate. Um, to be with them on this day and be with Bills Mafia. So like I said, it's just all about love. Um, we're gonna spread love today, um, you know, for the youth and like I said, in Western New York, but on top of that, the families that, you know, unfortunately had to go through that event yesterday. Your Imagine Foundation, some of the proceeds will go to, uh, you know, to help the victims. What, uh, you know, would you say the scholarships you give out, is that sort of the, uh, biggest source of the funding that you, that the foundation uh, hands out. Oh, uh, you know, I wouldn't say the biggest. I think that we do, you know, just in our annual events with the scholarships that we uh, that we do, uh, the teacher grants, the kicks for kids. Um, we hand out tennis shoes, the uh, back to school backpacks. We hand out school supplies. You know, going into the school year. You know. You know, all those, uh, all those events obviously, you know, cost money and, and um, you know, through our, through our sponsors and all them, they do a great job of, um, you know, just allowing us to, to do what we, you know, what we want to do and just spread love and, and help out the youth. So, um, yeah, scholarships are a big part of it, but, you know, all of our events hold, hold weight in that. The teacher grants, kind of, how does that help teachers? What are maybe, I don't know, some of the things that yeah. the teacher uses, teachers can do with that money? Well, I think, you know, with our foundation, we also have, um, you know, teachers on our staff and, and a teacher on our board. Um, so I think that we, we understand, you know, the, the difficulties that teachers, you know, face throughout the school year, um, you know, especially, you know, in, in some of the cities um, in the communities that we, you know, try to do some, some stuff for the youth. Um, you know, when this thing first started, now I focus more on, on athletics. Um, you know, met my wife and, you know, she, she uh, kind of, I, I think I knew, you know, what teachers went through, but she, you know, she has a teacher in her family that we talk to a lot, we're very close with, and so um, she kind of introduced me to, to the, you know, the challenges that they face, and so we have a soft spot for teachers and, you know, help, helping the teachers out anywhere we can, whether if it's um, giving them money so they can buy supplies themselves, um, you know, because we know teachers are uh, undervalued in, in, uh, in a lot of the communities we work. Thought, Mike, what's your, just, just what are your thoughts on hatred in community, and let alone the nation? I'm sorry, what was that? What are your thoughts on hatred? You know, in reference. Obviously, to the there's no, and... no, no room for it. Um, you know, we always just try to spread love, and um, you know, like I just said, if if, uh, if all the hate in this world, um, you know, if we stopped and canceled everything because of hate, we wouldn't, you know. We wouldn't move forward. Um, there's a lot of it, and, and all I, I think all you can do is just, like I said, spread love and um, love one another. And you know, I think that 
you know, it's big throughout the last couple of years in society. Uh, you know, obviously going through the COVID and, and all that type of stuff to, to really just reach out, help each other, and, and love on each other. But I think, it, would you say that it puts it into perspective is that these things continue to keep happening, that you go grocery shopping, your wife goes grocery mm -hmm. shopping, there's an eight-year-old that's hiding in a cooler yeah. that could have been your child, and knowing that these things are happening because of the color of someone's skin it's, being darker. I, I can't even I can't even wrap my head around that. Like that's that's uh that I mean it's, it's that's beyond beyond my thought process. I can't even you know that's why I say I'm still shocked that someone could even um, have that much hate in their in their in their, in themselves to, to go and do something like that. And um, I think the older I get, uh, you know, obviously having kids and, and putting myself in that situation. Obviously, there's some uh, what you just mentioned, eight year old hiding. Like that's just uh, that's sad. That's that's beyond sad. That's you know, there's. It should never happen. I know it just, I, I know this tragedy just happened, but has the team at all came together maybe wanting to do something as a whole for the families, or have you guys talked about that at uh, all? With it happening yesterday, it, uh, you know, a lot of guys out of town, um, you know, there's really nothing that, that uh, we, you know, we discussed yet. Uh, I think today is going to be the first time we actually get together, and, um, you know, obviously we all understand there's, there's an elephant in the room, and we're going to do our best to, to address that, and, and like I said, get, smiling, get people smiling and having fun. It looks like there's going to be, I don't know if you had a crowd estimate, but like not over eight, nine, or 10,000. Over 10,000. Wow. What, so just what do you think of the community response for that? That's yeah. You know what? Eight, 7,000 would be good, right? When I came here, when I came here in 2017, I never would have thought that alone the foundation would get to where it's at doing something like this, but just the, with the support of the Bisons and the Bills, uh, West Her, um, Lammy Sports that had helped putting this thing on, I never would have thought it would have got would get to this you know we I think three years ago we had our first one and it was 1500 right around 1500 people less than 2000 I know that for sure and um, just to see the last couple of days you know they kept us updated with the, the you know ticket sales and I went from 8000 we're like well, that's insane to 9000 to now over 10,000 like that's just that's that's the community of Buffalo um, you know you can go anywhere in this nation and I don't think you can find a um, a better community than, than Buffalo, and and I honestly mean that. Like this place is is home. Um, I grew up here, became a man here, had kids here, um, was married, um, living here, had my you know my first home. So, you know this this place is home to me, and, and I uh, I cherish this place um, a lot. So to see this, you know, it just means the world to me from the bottom of my heart that they're coming out here to support the foundation, support the kids in Western New York, and you know support the Buffalo Bills. What position are you going to play out there? Everything. <laughs> like, is there a battle that? I mean, you were probably are the best center fielder. Would you say you're the best uh, center fielder on the team? Uh, possibly. Possibly. <laughs> I, I played shortstop growing up, so, you know, I might, you might see me there. Um, I'm going to be up there, you know, pitching, getting in people's heads also, so I'm, I'm going to be doing it all. What were you at Fastoria? Shortstop. Shortstop, a little, little pitching. You kind of had to do it all. It was a small school, so wherever they wherever they needed you, so it to just go. transfers over today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To do that. Exactly. Do you, do you are you friends with any major league players? Or um, any, any a guy players? from my hometown just retired. I want to say two years ago, Jerry Blevins. Uh, he was a pitcher, Mets, A's. Um, do you get a text from him or anybody about that center fielder catch you made in the playoffs? Nah, nah, and, nah, uh, nah. He might have he might have tweeted at me, but uh, other than that, no, nah, not not really. Uh, I don't have too many baseball friends. Micah, yeah. does Jordan have a chip on his shoulder coming into today? A lot of people are saying he was robbed in the 2019 Derby. No, 1,000 percent. I think he does. Uh, we talked about it a couple times. You know, we had a couple years to discuss it. Uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's went away. I think that it's still. Uh, it's still brewing inside of him. He wants his rematch today. Uh, you know, hoping Josh is is uh, is going to partake in it because you know he's a reigning champion. So um, yeah, Poe's definitely uh, ready to, to to get his rematch. Did y'all place a friendly wager today for today? Maybe we'll see. We'll wait till the guys get here and we'll we'll put some down. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Yeah. Thanks, 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 Thanks,